We're going to look at how to insert a Schrader valve into a PVC fitting here. Um, it's going to be really simple. We just need a few different components. One of the Schrader valves here, this is an eighth of an inch by Schrader fitting. Uh, I've got a roll of Teflon tape. Um, I have a little ratchet with an 11 millimeter socket. And I have a 3 8 inch drill bit on my cordless drill. All right, first step, we're going to drill a hole. Got that 3 8 inch hole there. Uh, next, I'm going to take a Schrader valve. I'm going to put a little Teflon tape on it, just like any pipe fitting. Help seal that. Take this cap off. That's the Schrader valve, just like your bike pump uh, or, or car tire. We'll kind of get that started. Take the ratchet and then ratchet it down. Get that nice and flush. It'll actually bite right into the PVC a little bit. You don't want to go too far into that. Um, you can see on the inside here, there's your eighth of an inch fitting. And now you can use your uh, <clears throat> any kind of chuck, uh, quick release pressure gauge to check the uh, pressure of the system. You want to insert these on the PVC fittings because uh, they're going to have the most, like, thick, the thickest wall thickness uh, to bite into. You can do it on the sticks themselves, but it's better to do them where the, where the wall thickness is, is the most. So even right here where you have the insert uh, stick is good as well. Okay, it's pretty easy, pretty easy job. Mm -hmm. 